Good morning. We are off to a fresh start this Monday. Something that happened over the weekend is my company's global newsletter came out. So what does that have to do with me, you ask? Well, I met this really cool patient that had one of our pacemakers and I just felt like she fit our company motto so well that her story should be shared. So I replied back to our newsletter, which is a do not reply email, but someone checked it and someone replied a couple weeks later and I was persistent and had to follow up twice. But then my email got in front of the right people and they thought it was perfect for the right fit campaign that was coming out in January. So it's January, the January global monthly newsletter is out and yours truly is featured. So I thought my company would have their own journalists. It turned out that I was going to be, <laughs> I had to write the story, but my coworkers in house and the marketing team really helped make the whole thing come together and look beautiful. So I'm going to read that for you guys. So this is the patient story that I submitted to the global newsletter. I feel really proud of it. It took a lot of brainstorming and digging into my old UVA writing power, my alma mater, and I changed the name just for HIPAA purposes. So it's going to be patient alpha. Have you ever been inspired by a patient? Our company motto reigns true for patient alpha, a 63 year old hospice nurse who is living her life to its fullest in Telluride, Colorado. Patient Alpha's cardiac history is best described by Murphy's Law, the law of nature that anything that can go wrong will go wrong. A Grand Canyon kayaking trip initiated 24-year-old Patient Alpha's first symptomatic tachycardia event. She was diagnosed with Wolf-Parkinson-White syndrome and her EP study revealed multiple accessory pathways. After discovering she was allergic to almost every cardiac medication, Patient Alpha was eventually sent for open heart surgery and a pacemaker was implanted in 1985. Her subsequent cardiac journey included a second open heart surgery, a rebuild of her atria, nine cardioversions to treat AFib as well as a flutter, and multiple trips to Massachusetts General Hospital in Boston and the Mayo Clinic in Minnesota. Even though being pacemaker dependent made Patient Alpha activities more difficult, she never gave up on living an incredibly active lifestyle. Patient Alpha downhill skis, mountain bikes, and hikes. She has summited 42 of Colorado's 14ers and, bring, and run the Grand Canyon from rim to rim. One of her favorite ski runs is East Drain on Telluride Mountain. Prior to getting her fourth pacemaker in 2018, she always had to stop at a certain spot to allow her pacemaker to catch up. She consistently had to wait for her pacemaker while doing adventurous activities. With Patient Alpha's new device, expertly programmed by a most impressive clinical specialist, Patient Alpha now has the right fit she has been looking for. Because of her multiple accessory pathways, Patient Alpha's device is programmed VDD to prevent symptomatic far-field R-way of competitive pacing and ensure atrial timing cycles to prevent PMT. With Patient Alpha's MRI widespread programming power, we can track patient alpha's intrinsic sinus node rate in VDD and use programming programmable rate responsive PVART to allow a higher asymptomatic two to one block rate during exercise. When patient alpha skied down East Drain after receiving her new pacemaker, she couldn't believe she never had to stop once. With programming optimized, she never has to take a break while hiking or biking or doing the activities she loves. Patient alpha said her new pacemaker changed her life. As a pacemaker dependent patient, most of her life, she wish wishes her past pacemakers would have had the capabilities of her current one. As a clinical specialist, I am inspired by patient alpha and believe that as a CRM professional, we have the power to optimize programming to make every device the right fit for a patient. The best fit truly comes from the combination of our technology and our team. You know that I took advantage and showed that I had a byline on my LinkedIn. Why not? It's a great accomplishment that I'm super proud of. And I got a lot of positive feedback and this patient's actually gonna be featured in one of our upcoming campaigns. It'll either be as small as giving a quote or full-fledged to something fancy like a video. 
And it all took from just asking the simple question to a do not respond email. I hope this inspires you guys to, you know, pivot out of your comfort zone and try something new, especially if you feel passionate about it. Everything I'll be taking to my car this morning, two bags. Writing the patient story for the highlight in the newsletter is something that I did as a side project. I like to think of myself as the queen of projects. This is how I gain attention in my region. As a biomedical engineer, I am prepping my car to be prepared. I am planning to be compliant and get my weekly COVID test later this afternoon. And I'm looking forward to helping more patients and being inspired by them in clinic later today. Time to see what the gas tank has. Thanks for tuning in.